Tower Records once had hundreds of stores and massive influence in the music industry. T stars like Elton John were big spenders at the chain Sunset Boulevard store. Elton was one that used to come even during business hours. He'd come out with his limo driver, his limo driver would just stand there with backs, and he would come through with a long, long list. I mean, Tower Records had everything. Those people knew their stuff. They were really on their ball. I mean, they just weren't employees, and they happened to work in a music store. They were devotees of music, and that's what I loved about the Tower. I could talk about music to them. They could say, have you heard this? And uh, it, was, it was just, they were, they were like friends. In 1999, Tower Records made a billion dollars, but seven years later, they filed for bankruptcy. Most people blame the internet for shaking up the industry, but there's a lot more to the story than that, and Colin Hanks documents it all in his new movie, All Things Must Pass. I flew to L.A. for the red carpet premiere. I am here on the Sunset Strip for the world premiere of All Things Must Pass about the rise and fall of Tower Records, directed by Colin Hanks. Did you know that the world's largest record store in the known world and universe, etc., is here in Los Angeles? It is, and it's called Tower Records. So what was the aha moment where you decided that this story needed to be told? Uh, when the stores were closing in 2006, uh, an old friend of mine told me something that I did not know, which was the fact that Russ Solomon started selling U78s out of his father's drugstore in the late 30s and early 40s. Yeah. I had no idea about that, and uh, that was enough to make me think, well, that's a documentary. If that guy's journey starts there, and then, you know, he, he closes 192 stores around the world, that's a pretty impressive journey that guy went on. I spent a lot of my money at Tower Records. I spent a lot of time there. So for me, I was really upset when the doors closed. I asked Colin what people miss most about Tower Records. The thing that people miss most about Tower is the fact that it was a, a place that you could go and hang out and you weren't, you weren't rushed. Here's a retail establishment that doesn't care if you don't buy anything. You can go and hang out there. I also asked Weird Al Yankovic and Moby about the importance of Tower Records. Well, when I went back to LA, my one criterion was I want to live within walking distance of Tower Records on the Sunset Strip. Because I because I figured that's the coolest place in the world and I want to just be there all the time. Every time I walked in there, yeah. not to overstate it, but it just it had this magical quality. Because yeah. you'd see like rock stars buying vinyl and rock stars buying CDs and knowing that like you were buying a record from a band who played next door and made their record across the street. It was the thrill of being surrounded by music. 80% of it is a complete mystery to you. The iconic founder of Tower Records, Russ Solomon, shut down the business in 2006 and weighed in on if the internet was to blame for the closing. No, only partly. We would have, had we not had our other problems, we would have probably evolved into into something we could handle. Yeah. The internet affected the retail music business, no question about that. But it wasn't the thing that really killed it. And how the internet has changed the way we shop for music. They got more information from the stores than they do over the internet yeah. because you got to search through so much stuff to get there. Yeah. And everything changes, you know, in all yeah. reality, you know. That's why it's such an appropriate name for this. Has technology hurt music? Yeah. And Colin Hanks' good friend Busy Phillips talked about how musicians get paid for their music. I think that the way that people get paid is evolving in a way that kind of can make people bummed out, right? And and free music, but certainly like having like huge, gigantic artists like Taylor Swift standing up for things yeah. makes a difference. Yeah. And so you kind of have to have that, right? It's like in my business with the internet and online content versus yeah you know, movies and television shows, you do need like sort of like the bigger A-list multi-million dollar actors being like, wait, 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 whoa, let's back up. Well, I don't think we should do these things. I stopped in on the former location of Tower Records on the Sunset Strip where Colin Hanks' stepmom Rita Wilson got a little giddy about his success. I'm so proud of him because yeah. first of all, as you know, it's, it's very hard to do anything and really see it through all the way yeah. if it's something that's sort of 
as as large a thing as a documentary about Tower Records. Yeah. And you're kind of like, what's the story? He created an amazing story that I always get teary out when I see the movie. Tower Records in the heart of Sunset Strip tonight and every night of the year until midnight. You can buy music now, but is it fun to buy music now? Yeah. No. Yeah. But in this building that we're standing in, the former Sunset Boulevard Tower Records, this is where we would come and we would buy our music. And you would like flirt with people and you know, you get, dissed by the staff because they always thought that they know, were they so were much cooler than they you were so much cooler the thing about that was so great in the documentary that you realized is bands who are making music were playing here pay to play clubs yeah. hoping that at some point they would have a pile of records at, at tower that's right and sometimes they would take the records and just pile them up in stacks because they were selling so quickly rita wilson thank you so much kennedy nice seeing you again i love it and Rita's absolutely right. There are some really emotional moments in the movie, and uh, it's a beautiful story. Go check out All Things Must Pass. If you love music, you are really going to enjoy it. It is in theaters now, and I recommend it.